Let's create a new process named Moderate Social Media. Before we begin, let's do some preparation work. Let's go to the project folder and create two folders inside this project folder. So the first folder, let's name it as input. For the second folder, let's name it as output. Inside the input folder, we are going to store the sample images. So we pretend that these are the images posted on social media that uh, need to be moderated. Um, so the sample images are, are provided on Canvas. So you can directly download and uh, save these images in this folder. So I already downloaded these images. So I will just copy and paste these images um, into that folder. Okay, now let's go back to the uh, project folder and let's go inside the output folder. Inside the output folder, we are going to create an Excel spreadsheet and we are going to use the spreadsheet to store the information for each image. So let's create a new workbook and let's name it as image details. Now let's open the image details and let's create some columns that we are going to use for this data table. Uh, the first column, for the first column, let's name it as image path. So for this column, we are going to store the path of each image that we uh, saved in the input folder. Uh, for the second column, let's name it as adult. Uh, the third one, let's name it as violent and racy uh, and uh, medical. For each of these columns, uh, we are going to use the Google Vision API to perform the safe search. And then we are going to save the likelihood of that image having any of these contents. Uh, for example, uh, image number one um, may or may not have adult contents, may or may not have violent contents, uh, so on and so forth. So we are going to store these information uh, one by one for each image. Now let's save the workbook and return to our workflow. Let's begin by using a sequence activity in the main workflow and let's name it as main sequence. I'm going to break down the main sequence into three parts. In the first part, we are going to uh, input the image path of each file into this image details Excel spreadsheet and we can name this uh, sequence as build image list. In the second uh, part of this automation, we are going to obtain the um, Google authentication information from our Windows Credential Manager. In the third part of this automation, we are going to use the Google uh, Vision API to process each image and then provide the uh, likelihood of that image having any of these contents. Okay, so now uh, we can build the structure of this automation uh, by using three sequences. Let's name the first sequence as build image list sequence. And let's comment on this sequence so that uh, we know what this sequence is used for. Uh, so here let's say create a list of images to be processed by Google Vision API. Now for the second sequence, let's name it as Obtain Google Authentication. Now let's put a comment here and say uh, Obtain Google Credentials from the Windows uh, Credential Manager. Now for the third sequence, let's name it as Perform Safe Search.
and let's give it a comment and say um, perform safe search uh, using Google Vision API and return values of the likelihood of an image having adult, violent, racy, or medical contents. All right. Now let's start uh, configuring activities for each of these sequences. Let's begin by building activities for the first sequence, the build image list sequence. Uh, we can double click and go inside uh, this sequence. So now for uh, in, inside uh, this sequence, uh, we are going to uh, get the image path of the, uh, of the images that we saved in the input folder, right? And put the path of each image one by one in each row inside this Excel spreadsheet. Let's use the try catch activity so that uh, we can capture potential exceptions. And inside the try block, uh, let's use an Excel uh, scope application. Application scope. Here, uh, since the spreadsheet that we are going to fill out uh, is the image details saved in the output folder, right? Um, so here for the workbook path, it's going to be output uh, slash image details dot xlsx. Now we need to get the path of each image saved in the input folder. Uh, and for this, we need to use a for each activity. So be careful here, we're going to use the for each instead of the for each row. So let's use the for each inside the do block. So here the difference between the for each and the for each row is that the for each row can only be used to iterate through a data table, but the for each activity can be applied to the iteration other than data table. Here we want to get the file path of each file saved in a folder, right? So here we use for each instead of for each row. Uh, here for the VB expression, let's use directory dot get files and then let's provide the folder that we want to obtain information from and that folder is input. Now let's create a new variable named str image path and let's set the scope as try catch. Now here we want to use an assign activity to assign value uh, to the uh, image path. So here uh, the value will simply be item dot to string. And here I have an error because this should be get files instead of get file. Now that we get uh, the image path of each file, the next step would be write this value to the corresponding cell, right? For example, if we get the uh, first image path that will go into cell A2, and for the next iteration, it will go to A3, so on and so forth. So if you remember, actually we did this before, so to create this iteration, uh, we can use a counter variable, right? Uh, so let's do the following. Let's create a new variable named int counter and set the variable type as integer. Uh, the scope, try catch. Now, let's use a right cell activity and let's choose the right cell from the Excel automation because here we are inside the uh, Excel application scope. Since the image path is saved in column A, so we do not need to change the alphabet here, the column alphabet so we can keep that but we need to change the number the row number right so here let's delete one and use a plus sign so here we are doing string concatenation and let's use int counter to string and if you remember uh, we need to set the default value of the int counter 
、uh, as two because the starting point, like if you、uh, write the first value into the spreadsheet for the image path, it will go into cell A two, right? Instead of cell A zero, there is no cell A zero, and it's not A one, so it's A two, right? That's the starting point. So we need to set the default value as two, and also、uh, after the right cell, we are going to use the we are going to add the Counter by one, right? So that it can iterate through this、uh, list. Now,、uh, in the value here, we are going to write the image path into cell A,、uh, concatenated with the counter, right?、Uh, and after that, as I said, we need to use an assign activity to add the counter by one. So that will be int counter equals int counter plus one. Okay, so now we completed the try block, and for the catch block, we can simply set the exception to system dot exception. And if you want, you can also add some log messages to log the errors. Now let's save the workbook and go back to the main workflow. And till now, we can actually test our automation to see whether、uh, the first sequence is working. So now let's run this automation. Okay, now we can see that for the image path column, we have these、uh, image path、uh, saved. So it means that、uh, we correctly configured the first sequence. So now we can close the file and and keep configuring other activities. Now let's come to the second sequence, obtaining the Google authentication. Uh, so here we are going to obtain the authent、uh, the credentials from the Windows Credential Manager. So remember, in the earlier video, I taught you how to save the credentials in the Windows Credential Manager.、Um, so the reason that we、uh, save those credentials in that Credential Manager is that it's a safer way to protect your credentials instead of saving these credentials in some unsafe files. Um, so here in the step, we are going to extract these credentials from that Windows Credential Manager, and to do so, we need to install a new package. So let's go to our Manage Packages and go to the Official and search Credential. So let's use the second one, UiPath dot Credentials dot Activities, and click Install and click Save. Now let's go inside the obtain Google authentication sequence, and let's add an activity named get secure credential. Now for the target, we should use the name of the credential that we、uh, created in the Windows Credential Manager. So if you remember, that name is Google authentication. So please double check your spelling; otherwise, your credentials cannot be correctly extracted. And now, for the output, let's create a variable named str Google Secret for the password, and a new variable named str Google ID for the username. Now, go to the variable section. And you can see that we have these two variables, and you can see that for the、uh, secret variable,、uh, the variable type is called secure string because this is a password, right?、Uh, so this variable type is called secure string. And now let's set the scope as the main sequence because later on we are going to use this credential information in the safe search sequence. Now,、uh, before we move on,、uh, I need to point out that when we use the Google Vision API, we need to use a regular string variable instead of the secure string. So here we need to convert this secure string variable into a normal, into a regular string variable. So let's create a new variable. Let's call it、uh, str secret, and keep the variable type as string, and change the scope into the main sequence. And here, let's use an assign activity. So we want to convert 
the uh, str google secret which carries the variable type as secure string into um, the str secret which is a regular string type of variable so here uh, in the on the two side we are using the str secret and here uh, on the right hand side the vb uh, let's do the following new system dot net dot network credential in parentheses string dot empty comma str google secret and dot password Now click OK. So in this sequence, we obtain the Google ID and Google secret, and we convert the uh, Google secret into a string variable that can be used in the later sequence. Now let's save our work and go back to the main workflow. And now we come to our last sequence, the perform safe search sequence. When we use the Google Vision API, we need to install another package. So let's go to the Manage Packages and go to the Go Market. Here, let's search Google Vision. And you will see that we have Google Vision.activities. So click on this and click Install and Save. And click I Accept. Now we can uh, configure the activities using this Google Vision API activities. Uh, now let's double click the perform safe search sequence so that we can uh, go inside the sequence. And we can also use our try catch uh, so that any potential exceptions can be captured. In the try block, let's use an Excel application scope because eventually we want to fill in these blanks. Now for the workbook path, uh, it's still going to be output slash image details dot xlsx. And we also need to use a read range uh, from the Excel so that we can get the data table which contains the list of images to be processed. Now uh, for the read range, Let's create a variable named DT image uh, as the output. And now the next step is to iterate through this list. So here we are going to use a for each row activity. For each row in the DT image, we are going to perform the uh, Google safe search, right? So here, uh, let's use the Google Vision Scope. So this is the package that we just installed. So let's drag and drop into the body. And let's provide our credentials here. Uh, the client ID, it's going to be the uh, SDR Google ID that we obtained from our uh, previous sequence. And for the client secret, uh, this is going to be STR secret. So this is the variable that contains the, uh, the password in regular string data type. Now let's come back and let's use another activity named safe search and put it inside the do box. Here for the image path, uh, so because our image path is stored in the first column of this data table, right? Uh, so this is going to be row zero to string. And as you can see in the output of this safe search, we have uh, four outputs, right? So adult, medical, racy, violent. Uh, so let's create four variables so that we can store uh, the values of each output. So in the variable section, uh, let's create str adult and set the scope as uh, try catch and um, 
str violent set the scope as try catch and similarly str bracy and scope as try catch the last one str medical scope try catch now let's come back to the safe search activity and input the variables that we just created into the corresponding output Now that we obtained these outcomes of uh, whether an image contains adult, racy, medical, or violent contents, uh, the next step is to input these outcomes into the uh, spreadsheet, right? So uh, for each image, we are going to input these values column by column. So we are going to use the right cell activity. And similar to what we did before, we are going to use the integer counter to complete the iteration. So let's first create this int counter and set the scope as try catch. Now let's use a right cell activity from the Excel automation. And let's put it just below the Google Vision scope. Let's first put values into the uh, column of adult. So for this column, it is stored in column B. So here, let's change the cell index into B and then concatenate it with integer counter to string. And before we forget, let's uh, set the default value of the integer counter as 2. And for the value, that is going to be str adult. Similarly, we can use another three right cell activities to fill in the values of str violent, str racy, and str medical. So I will keep adding the right cell activities. So this is going to be c concatenated with int, uh, int counter to string. And here we are writing to the column of violent, right? So here the value is str violent. And the next one will be cell D concatenated with the int counter to string. And the value will be racy, right? So it's going to be str racy. And now for the last one, this is going to be cell E concatenated with int counter to string. And the value is going to be str medical. Now, uh, we should also use an assign activity to add one on top of the int counter so that can have this iteration. I have an error here because uh, I didn't change the variable type into integer. Okay, so now we are good. All right, so we completed the try block, and for the catches, we can also set the exception as system dot exception. Okay, so now let's save our work and go back to the main workflow. So we have completed this project, and so now let's. Uh, run our process and see what we will get. So let's run the bot. So as you see, the bot is able to fill in the values of the likelihood of an image having any of these contents. Now, if this is your first time running the bot, you will see the following. So your browser will direct you to log in to your account. So here you just need to log in your uh, Gmail account that you uh, used to uh, apply for the Google credential. And then go to advanced and go to uh, this whatever name you use and choose allow and allow. 
Okay, now we can close the browser and then uh, I think the automation is already completed. So let's check. Yeah. So then the uh, second time you run the automation, it will just directly go through the API process without logging into the account again. So let me try to illustrate. So here, let's first clear our results and then save. Okay, so now let's run this the second time and then you will see that it will go through directly.